Sean, in all your many years now at Lincoln City, I must, it must be about the most enjoyable time at, at the moment for you, both individually and also as a group of players. Oh yeah, of course, we're, we're striving at the minute. Uh, we're doing very well, but we can't just pour, uh, pour off the gas now, we have to keep on going. But yeah, my, probably the best time been, when I've been here anyway, and I felt a part of it. Obviously I've been here through the playoffs, um, I wasn't really playing, so to be playing now and to like be winning my 12 on beat and now and pushing teams further on from us but uh, yeah it's been very good and long may it continue. It's when I watch the team it feels like there's a real hunger amongst the players and when you look at the the subs you know like look at Dylan and Dylan and TJ coming on scoring but also their performances players who come on want to make an impact too. Oh yeah of course and like that that's starting from the training ground day in day out everything from the gym from the the pitch, everything. People are pushing each other. And I know myself, obviously, we've kept a lot of clean sheets and haven't conceded that many goals, but it's Jacko that came on, or TJ, they're pushing the start week in, week out, so you have to be on your game 24-7. And like all the lads were doing that well, that the lads are just keep on going and they know they'll get the chance. And like the two lads that came on, they scored. And do you feel like the intensity you have in the training here at the at the tra at the EPC? That's what we're seeing from view players because certainly that's the word that people were saying to me about the performance, particularly Tuesday, but I think also Saturday. You know, a real intensity about the team. Oh yeah, of course. And like once every player is pushing each other on the training pitch, you're going to get better no matter what. Um, but football is all. Well, I think it's all about momentum. Um, and the more confidence you get, and like as a as a team now, we're really really confident. So we're going into games not fearing anyone and just taking game by game. It looks like you're getting nice little, I know it's only been a couple of games with, with Danny playing on the left of the of the two midfielders and then also Rico being just in front of you. You're getting quite a nice pattern of play between the three of you and, and those two push up off and gives you a bit of space to move into as well, doesn't it? Ah, yeah, look, the, the coaching staff have been very good with us. They've just said, look, obviously we have a tactical plan, but when we get the ball, you can roam around or do whatever, it's just nothing stupid. So they give you freedom to play like and I'd be I trust myself against anyone in this league to one v one. So I let Rico go on and see what he can do up top. Um obviously he's not really a, a defender, he's more an attacking player, so to give him the license means we can get up the pitch more and get an extra body in there. Um but Dano as well, Dano's unreal on the ball, same with when Teddy's in there as well. Like the two very, very technically good players. What do you feel like Michael is doing for your game? It, it strikes me you see a lot more of the ball perhaps than you were under the previous head coach. What, what do you feel that how your game is evolving under Michael Scabala? Oh, I think it's obviously I didn't start coming in when he first came in, but from now look, I, look a lot of a lot has changed. I've got really confident. He's he's trusted in me. He's like he's he's let me play with freedom. Um, just enjoying being on the ball. Look. I love being on the ball. Like uh, I'd say, I'm a player that likes being on the ball as a centre half, and I can pick passes out. Um, but he he trusts me to do to do that, and he's given me that freedom, which I really like. And hopefully, I'm paying him back. And for your age, you've played a lot of games, haven't you? Oh yeah, and I'm not getting ahead of myself. Like I say, hundred plus games now in professional football and um, men's football. So as a, it's a good milestone, but. I want to keep kicking on. The next one's 200, so I have to look forward to that now. You live in and around Lincoln, you'll know that a lot of people have suddenly started talking about Jack Morley. You've seen him in training. I'm going to guess that his performances at Barnsley and, and I know before as well, but certainly at Barnsley and then on Tuesday night won't have surprised you and his finishing won't surprise you. Ah, no, since the day he came in, obviously I've known him from Ireland and I've played against him, but he just seemed to take a massive stride last year in the League of Ireland and he came over this this year. He put his head down to the ground, and he knew once the chance came, like he's not gonna get, like he'll get chances, but not as many as he wants. And most footballers would want more chances, but he knew once he got his chance, he'd, he'd have to shine, and he's doing that. I like, had full trust in him. You see, like in training, his shooting's unbelievable. And he brings that into game, so. Yeah, real clean striker. Um, just on the on the game, I guess the the most important thing is don't wallow in it, don't enjoy it all. Certainly, we as the media and the fans can enjoy it all, but for you, it's all about getting another three points and, and keeping the pressure on those playoff teams that aren't that far away from you now. Ah, oh, yeah, we're not thinking about that. We're just thinking about the next game and 
just this game before the international window. Um, so we just got to get this, got to get the three points, and once we get the three points there, then we'll focus on the next game. But from now, we're just focusing on Saturday's game. And Bristol Rovers, they they possess the threat. Oh, of course, any anyone in this league. Um, see the amount of results that uh, give shocks or whatever in the league and we just got to put our heads down, don't look, do our work on them and we know if we're up to our best and we're confident enough when we play with freedom that we can beat anyone in this league and same on Saturday.